I just came by to thank you in person. Yellow turkeys and welcome back to my time at Sandrock. My name is Viola. If you like what you see, hit the like button and subscribe if you haven't already. It really does help the channel. Go to sleep. Wake up. Here's Trudy. We never would have stood a chance against Duvos without you. Tracking down Logan, discovering the secrets under the temple, piecing it all together, then finally preparing and defending us against invasion. Any one of those things would have made you a hero. But you continue to go above and beyond the call of duty as both a builder and a member of the Civil Corps. Above all, you've been a good friend to everyone around you. Here, the city put together a little something for you. I know you didn't do what you did for any kind of reward, but I'd feel better if you got something from us for all you've been through. Oh, right. I also wanted to ask you to join our emergency fireside meeting. It's about how to handle the fallout from, well, everything. It's starting now. Don't worry. It won't take long. Hello, everyone. Seems we're all here. Let's begin. First, I'd like to introduce the commander of the Alliance forces that came to our aid, Avery. As soon as Haru arrived in Atara, he mobilized a defense force in no time flat. Greetings. Yes, as soon as we heard the news, we set off without delay. The leader of the Alliance Guard personally chose me to handle this mission. We hardly dreamed they would be so bold as to attack us so deep in Alliance territory. Our air wing chased the enemy air destroyer all the way to the Duvos border. We can confirm that it went down a little afterwards from taking heavy fire. We've also done several sweeps of the northern ruins, arresting all of the leftover Duvos troops. I can confidently state that Sandrock is now completely safe. This attack was a blatant breach of our ceasefire. Rest assured, Duvos will answer for what they've done here. You want to hit them back? Well, that'll mean war. The Alliance values peace above all else and has no intention of provoking war. However, we have never and will never back down from a fight. Good to hear. Say, Commander, I don't suppose you could take a few of these criminals off our hands? Our jail only seats six comfortably in. Well, we gotta uphold our own standards, else we're no better than they are. We will stay in Sandrock briefly to prosecute any other missions Mayor Trudy has in mind for us. Then we'll leave with all Duvos prisoners, including the war criminal Pen. Everything will be smooth, so long as we're not interrupted. Smooth as jackmail butter. That's how we do it around here. Let us know if we can help. I said, so long as we're not interrupted. Stay out your hair. Gotcha. Commander, has your company received any ACI orders? Official orders have not been received. However, it has become clear to me that you have been in clear violation of a 735, which warrants an evaluation by your superiors. That's funny. I thought I was up for a Medal of Honor. There are no medals awarded for backtalk. Return to Atara at once and take it up with your superiors. Grace is headed out. Dang, that's right. I forgot she wasn't part of the Sand Rock crew for a minute there. You know, I'd like to. Maybe I even can. First step is headed back to HQ to report on what's happened here. From there, well, who knows? Those two? As citizens of the Alliance, they fall under local jurisdiction. The corrupt commissioner will be held here while he is investigated formally by the Free Cities Commerce Guild, and subsequently replaced. I see. You must really hate him. Yes. I understand. But as your commanding Civil Corps officer here said, we must uphold certain standards. He will be dealt with but in a way that is neither cruel or unusual, even though we all know such scum deserves far worse. 
Hey, well, don't miss me yet. I haven't received the order. I expect they'll want me around for at least a little longer to oversee things as a rep from the ACI. Well, certainly you wouldn't mosey before going on one last ride, would you? Wouldn't dream of it. Hen was integral in the subterfuge against Sandrock and a leader in the attempted theft of the Alliance relics. Rest assured, he will be held accountable to the full extent of the law. I'll make sure of that personally. Hen is not only a senior officer of the Duvos army, he has a criminal record on and off the battlefield. He has taken countless lives and surely would have taken more if not for you all. He'll get what's coming to him. Thank you again, Commander Avery, for your timely arrival. City Hall will be cooperating with you as best as we can also. Next, Commander Avery, I believe you had some commendations you wanted to give out to award those who went above and beyond the call of duty in uprooting the Duvos conspiracy against Sandrock. The first person we'd like to recognize is you. Not only did you help mount our defenses against unfathomable odds, you led the charge into enemy territory, all for the good of our people and the citizens of the Alliance. Furthermore, Sheriff Justice kept calm in the face of danger. Logan, the monster hunter's fighting skills surely tipped the scales in our favor. And Grace, of the ACI's espionage and cunning, were invaluable in our victory against Duvos as well. Let's give them all a big round of applause. Commander, please present everyone with their awards. I think that about wraps it up for today. Thank you all, and a big thank you to the heroes of the Battle of Sandrock. With brave folks like you around, there's no limit to what we can accomplish in this town. I suppose if there's anything you want to say to our prisoners, you'd better say it now. Who knows if we'll be seeing them again anytime soon. Shall we then? Yes, dismissed. Cause that guy places me. That's Pretty sure that quest is not named, not used, but uh... sure that's just a bit of a bug. I was uh, studying how Gungam pilots use the Satan. I think I've recorded an update, it lasts me a while, excuse me. Okay, thank you, I've managed to successfully repair the sword, although I doubt it'll reach the potential of the old world version. It is still extremely powerful. Anyway, since you found it, I think it fitting that you have it. Do be careful though. Now if you'll excuse me, I have a spaceship to study. There you are. I had predicted this encounter within a 1% margin of error. Hmm? Yes, I have charted your routines and mannerisms. What's so strange about that? I'm here for the... Okay, let's go back out and come back in.
You're here. Today is your first day as assistant to the director. Preliminary notice, when we are in the research center, our relationship is strictly professional. I need to focus on my work, so I don't have time for pleasantries. So please understand, when you're in this lab, you are my assistant. No more, no less. In return, I hope you maintain the same level of professionalism. Your first job is of utmost importance. My previous experiment produced much detritus, and it is in need of disposal. Anyway. Director, I'm good. Now, before you finish, please do not disturb me. There should be a feather duster somewhere if you need it. Very good. Now I will assign you your next task. There are many relics in that cabinet. Organize them for analysis and write a preliminary report. I'm sorry about that. Do not worry about it for now. Let's carry on. Now, let us continue. As a builder, I suppose you are not particularly familiar with report writing. I will give you a briefing. Yes, please explain. Take the relics from the shelf with care, observe, and research. The information gathered should be divided into appearance, form, and assigned research value. It is then written in the preliminary report in BGA format. Since it is your first day, I will not assign you too many. We are aiming to focus on quality rather than quantity. Fifty reports should be adequate. Right away. Director. And good. Well, let's get on with it then. And please don't bother me unless there is an imminent catastrophic disaster. some of the knowledge of the old world, we could rediscover the practical use, such as hybrid, hybridization, in vitro gene editing, and some even new, in creating new resilient cotton crops. I just copied words from the book, I'm not sure what's all right. Um, principle of yo physics. Mechanical clutch yo yo yo's is equipped with clutch mechanics that trigger with the yo yo's. Really oh my gosh, no, 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 no! It's it's yo yo. Work is a mess. I'm so very tired. Just think I had to push through. Good work. This all seems to be in order. You're an excellent assistant. Take this cup of sand too. It'll help you concentrate. These relics may seem ordinary, but each piece has valuable information to be gleaned. You never know how each one could invariably help the human race move forward. 
It seems, however, that your productivity has diminished. We may stop for today. Do you have any questions? Neither I do. I have not had time to read your reports, but although you are lacking the desired experience, I was impressed with your dedication. You have lasted longer than any other assistant. Thank well done. Thank you very much. You're welcome. You may leave now. I've got more work to do. Goodbye. Yeah. The power. see here. Still trying to figure out. Oh, construction. Okay. There we go. Now I know. Why didn't I think of that? I really... I didn't. I just, I didn't. I just didn't. Construction Junction. Let's see. Interesting. Is up there? Yeah, it is. Okay. Um, there we go. <laughs> Don't get stuck. to recycle. those before? I don't think so.
church, really, guys? Uh. All right. We can go in here. Oh, tr Trudy. Trudy, 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 Trudy. Trudy, I clean things up. Oh, goody. Thank you. Yep, to fix things up around town. Thank you so much. Everything's back to normal here. Well, I think it'll make everyone feel a lot better moving forward. Thanks again. Yeah. Just yeah, like this. And just go, um, that I can give as a gift. Some of these other things I will have to put into the museum. stuff. I have so much stuff. Uh. Too much stuff. Alright. I do wonder if they've maybe put some uh, new designs in the houses. That would be nice. Tumbleweed, what are you doing here? <laughs> Who sent you? Roar! You wee, nobody wants you here. Hmm. Now the dust is settled on the Dugos fiasco, we still have some serious matters to address. While well, we appreciate the help Logan has provided for the town, we need to understand and assess the lights of this banditry. After discussing the matter at Silcor, we have decided to open this to the town, as the circumstances are particularly unique. We will be holding a trial for Logan and Haru in three days' time in front of City Hall. This is regarding the future of two sand rockers, so please attend and give your ideas. Everyone's opinion counts. Okay. Advanced jewelry processing machine. My workshop ranking. Managed to win first prize in monthly range. Okay, thank you. <laughs> uh, oh boy. Okay. But what I was what I was uh, starting to say was that I wonder if um, 
Showroom. Here we go. Uh, let's see here. Some different styles. Um. That's a lot of stuff. See, this is the one that was. M that's my style. some of these other ones and they might have better space because let's be honest I don't really end up with a ton of space in here as you guys can see when I enter stuff to put down. Now admittedly there's some things that I could probably pick back up at this point because looking at my uh my thing here uh I, I got way more health points than I need got 20 more max damage than I need so health uh let's see here um I could probably pick up I like the rustic armchair. Let's see, I could get rid of these two stools. Let's uh, put that in the inventory and then inventory. Okay, let's take another look at this now. Alright, so we're still quite a bit. No table completely. Oh, I like the rustic table. We've got two gaming chairs. Oh, no. Yeah. Here we go. Here we are. Uh, I like all the artwork. Actually, the pro gaming chair is a bit uh, out of my style, particularly for this. Let's. Okay, so we can probably put down one of those stools again. One of the bad boy stools. There we are. And that will be... to the tea party. Can't be late to the tea party. Let's see, where is the tea party? Tea party? Blue saloon. Why do my pants look like my butt is dirty? Now I have a sad. Am I meant to have a dirty butt? I'm late. You're fine. We just got here a little early. Mm, what have we here? You brought along our fine associate Viola to the tea party. Have you? Meet the friend group already? Things must be getting pretty serious. We're just friends. Pablo's just teasing. You'll get used to it. <laughs> Why the third degree, Pablo? Sounds like someone's jealous. 
couldn't tell you. I've never had to be jealous. Sorry, I've, I'm sorry. I've been so preoccupied with work lately. It's been so long since I've been able to come. Mm, well, mm, while we're doing confessions, you've been away for so long I was forced to open up auditions for your replacement. But you know, when certain entrepreneurial gentlewomen near here, they have to spend a little on the premium tea and dessert, they back out. <sighs> it seems not many in this town are interested in refining their palates, so you're safe, for now. I see. I suspected your response to my absence would be less than charitable. As such, I brought a present for each of you as an apology. <sighs> Aha! Protect is surpassed only by your beauty. Very well, Miss Amira. The club curators recognizes your gift. All is forgiven. Seconded. And wow, this gift box is just stunning, Amira. Wait, there's more inside? It's a small teacup, handmade, as you might expect. Look, I engraved your names on them. Viola helped to create the fragrant satchel, so you'll always be able to enjoy a pleasant aroma that should pair nicely with any tea leaf. Very personal. I approve. I only must join us for tea, if not only for your charm, because I've grown weary of these two beauties. Give me something new to look at. I peck at you, sunshine. Yes, do please join us more often. I feel like you'd be more you'd be a suitable member for our tea party. Pablo, as you mentioned, is the leader. Heidi and I are knights, and together we call ourselves. Fleeting Youth Tea Society. <laughs> Fleeting, as in swift. We are all that remains of the vibrant artistic sandrock scene that once was. So it goes without saying, we're always on the lookout for new members. I'd love to join. So charmingly positive. But we all we already have the nice one. That role is fulfilled by none other than our illiterate architect, Miss Heidi. Never mind that. We'll play it by ear. Good find, Miss Mira. Why, Pablo, can it be? Are you starting to trust my judgment? There's nothing in the rule book that says we can't have two nice ones. Typical nice one response. Very well, then. Let the introduction ceremony begin. Great. Today, it's on me, then. I've always wanted to celebrate a new member. Heidi, you can't keep doing this. Come on, Amy. Who are we to turn down our big, fancy architect's kind offer? Quickly now, and toast before she changes her mind. Toast what? This is tea, not yakma well. Alright, alright. Well, to our success. Success? Now, and come now, that's a given. Let's toast something better. Well, as our newest member, why don't you make a toast? Gossiping about everyone else in town. You're going to fit like a glove. <laughs> You're just going to leave it there? Surely your story isn't over. When it comes to my own tea, I prefer sipping to spilling. Oh, come on now. Just a hint. What happens in Walnut Groove stays in Walnut Groove, my darlings. <laughs> She did. She did. She wouldn't. She would. Goodness. I thought she was a nun. She was. <laughs> They're actually doing really well. They have their own company and everything. It's called Angie. Boring. Not juicy enough. Next. Amira, whatever happened to that one guy who liked you? Waited outside your shop for a while. Which one? Ah, you know, the ugly one. Which one? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> it's lovely to have new members. Till next time. Hi everyone. I really have to get back to work though. It was lovely. I think our gifts were a hit. Well, it was your idea. Pablo's a lovely man. He must be appeased. But he must be appeased from time to time. 
I know only from experience. In any case, I do hope you'll stop by again. Take this with you, and welcome once again to the Fleeting Youth Jesus I Bear. Everybody wants to date me. But there's only two guys I have eyes for. And one of them is right here. Long time ago, I had seven identical twins stop into the blue moon. I've heard of triplets, quintuplets even, but septuplets? <laughs> My heart goes out to their mother. What about octuplets? Let's uh, make it up. Anything I can give him that's thanks. It's really nice. going to have to remember to bring maybe I don't know if the apology bear will work on him I would think that it would I don't see why not I'm gonna get back out here and I also need to work on let's see I need hardwood I think Hopefully I have the supplies to be able to do that. It's here. Three! I only am able to make three. That's no good. No good, no good, no good. I need more than three. Oh boy. There we go. Let's go. This one. Yeah, more than enough out of that. Okay. Oh, no, that I think about it. Hmm. was never here. This feels weird. Okay. Or maybe I just constantly overlooked it, but I don't remember. what I gotta do, double D, return home. I don't know if I pushed the right button. Um, yeah, okay, go home. I 
care of everything today? I don't think so. No, because Trudy came and got me. And that started my day off. In the craziest of manners. It's supposed to have water in the I think I'm supposed to. Oh, oh, can I just. Ladle. I'm coming, guys. Don't worry. I'm here. You're okay. You're not gonna die. You're here. Good timing. The satellite will pass overhead shortly. I've configured the telescope. I've also attached an SLR to allow direct imaging. We can take photos for further analysis. We still have some time before the satellite arrives. Let's test out the telescope first. I'm finished duelist gloves in the sanctuary today. Okay, back to oh, we have a new activity. Updating your hangout. When you start stargazing, your companion will say which sign they want to see. You can try and, and you can try and find them. While looking for constellations, remember to move the viewpoint around. If you think you found the right constellation, switch to the locator to name. Alright. Sanctuary. Is that it? No, that's a little too... That looks right. Okay, Duelist Gloves.
The image quality is vastly superior, no? The clarity allows for much more precise imaging for the stars. Can you tell me about the stars? You know, interestingly, when people believe they are wishing upon shooting stars, they are actually wishing upon rocks falling and burning up in the atmosphere. Stars do not shoot. It is a common misconception. What else do you wish to know? Perhaps an overview of the constellations? I will not peddle astrology, but I know a thing or two about astronomy. Hmm. According to numerous studies, the Swan was originally a constellation that was used to guide sailors across vast distances. They could follow the movement across the skies to orient themselves. What else do you want to know about? Mm -hmm. Ah, interestingly, the scientific name for this constellation is Scalacium Major, which is a rare instance of the scientific name and the layman's name aligning. What else do you want to know about? There. This was the first constellation I learned of. I was four at the time. This was a rare instance of scientific, much like this oh. one. It would help them. What okay. else do you want to I'm know about? I'm going to skip that because I'm going This was to the first constellation I learned of. I was four at the time. This was a rare instance of scientific knowledge being shared from my parents rather than my grandfather. Much like this one, it would help them as they were out fishing, providing a point of reference. What else do you want to know about? Okay. Interestingly, although we group these stars together in named constellations, they were in fact separated by tens of light years. That's enough for now. The scavengers should be here any moment. Bingo! Now! Mm -hmm. Pretty. Hmm. Perhaps I forgot to align the telescope now. It would serve us very easy. Perfect! It's a lot clearer than I thought. Take a look here. This has to be the satellite's antenna. It's completely intact. It might even be transmitting. We should make it one of the few working satellites remaining. If only we had a working receiver to downlink the scavenger's signal. Think of what we could learn. Ah, but I shouldn't be too greedy. We just installed an equatorial mount and now a camera too. It's already a huge step forward. Since we're on the subject though, let me tell you about a paper I read a few days ago. The sampling of digital control technologies of the old world. What a read. Digital control technology. Yes, the antenna on the satellite <laughs> is one such digital controller. I might have mentioned it a bit last time. Uh, here are the details though. See, people of the old world had hundreds of thousands of satellites up there in the sky. Most of them were destroyed on the day of calamity, but a few should have survived. Now, we've lost most of the communications technology of that period. I mean, we're using wireless telegraphs while they used quantum entanglement, which I don't even have a clue what it means. It just sounds so advanced. My hobby of observing satellites and space stations is my way of trying to connect the dots. If we're able to communicate with these machines, we might be able to recover much of the lost technology. Mm, of course. You finally understand now. Teaching is a lot of work. Thanks. You're welcome to talk to me about anything you're unsure about or interested in. I'll do my best to explain thoroughly. You know, I used to deflect from social situations but it seems, in fact, that simulating scientific conversation can be had. Interesting. It's getting quite late. Let's call it a night. I need to rest too. I would go for cheap, but... A long time ago, I met someone who had a similar attitude that scientific brilliance who just felt like they were constantly above everyone in the conversation and it gets tiring trying to keep up with that. Like, they have their good points, but the constant feeling of them talking down to you because they feel like they have so much more intellect than you. When intellect is... intellect has a range. They're 
people that are smarter in some things and smarter in others. It just depends on what you decide to study or what you decide to pick up and learn. But yeah. It's just not for me. But yeah. I think that's going to be it for today's episode, so thank you all for watching. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Don't forget to ring the bell icon to keep up to date on all the videos. And remember to free the feral wildflower in you. Bye-bye!